uh, get a little bit of comments from his perspective as the UN Special Envoy for Malaria about progress to date and the importance of new tools on the horizon. Right? Thanks, Chris. great progress in the fight against malaria over, in the last five years. Much of it led by Admiral Zeber, who said of the President's Malaria Initiative. But uh, for years, more than a million children a year passed from malaria, mostly under the age of five, mostly in Sub-Saharan Africa. And the existing tools to which Chris referred, the bed nets, indoor residual spraying, ACTs, really worked. And what we've tried to do over the last five years is to bring those interventions up to scale, critical mass. And we've almost covered close to 700 million people in the last three and a half years with long-term insecticide treated bed nets, indoor residual spraying, and availability of medication. And we see the numbers dropping. As Chris said, we have over 11 countries now who have recorded more than a 50% drop in mortality from malaria. Zanzibar is down to zero mortality. And we see more countries uh, on the horizon reaching those reductions. And we're aspiring to a goal of zero deaths from mortality by 2015. We recognize we're not going to get to zero, but that's the goal we've set. We think we'll get close to that. We've seen some challenges, uh, but one of the greatest attributes we've experienced in the last five years has been the coming together of all the key players, President's Malaria Initiative, WHO, UNICEF, the Global Fund, World Bank, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and we have this, this unbreakable partnership that's really worked well. MMV, Medicines for Malaria Venture, has played a key role in the partnership. And now we're experiencing some challenges where we think MMV will play a more important role. We're seeing resistance to ACTs in Asia. We've seen resistance to the insecticides on the nets in parts of Zambia. And we're going to need new things to penetrate the endemic areas. Right now, we think ACTs are getting to 20 to 25 percent of people who need them. If we had a single dose ACT, that could be so effective. What MMP has done with pediatric cohortum, now 55 million youngsters have had access to pediatric cohortum. is so significant. And while we've done a lot of great work in social media, getting malaria on American Idol, and it's the number one cause on Facebook and Twitter, we now have to get the importance of research and development to be broadcast and raise awareness about well. And so we're hoping that this partnership that's coordinated by Rollback Malaria continues in a very effective way with uh, Medicines for Malaria Venture emerging as one of the most significant partners because we're going to need what they're uniquely developing in order to bring ourselves to the goal we established for 2015. Let me say that I met Tim Zemer um, almost five years ago when he was first brought on as the CEO of the President's Malaria Initiative, which was announced by President Bush in 2005. And it really wasn't going anywhere. And uh, it was, I think, greatly prescient for President Bush to find a military man who knew how to make the ships run in the world. And, Things get done on time, and 
he's just been amazing in what he's accomplished. Without Tim's leadership at Mozilla, and without the key role of the President's Malaria Initiative, they, we, we wouldn't be where we are today. They've done things and gone places where all the other funders and supporters would not go. And they did it supporting the endemic country plans, so not paternalistic, not dictating what should be done, but working with each country and building their confidence, giving them support for critical measures and interventions. And it gives me great pleasure to take this opportunity thank our partner, Admiral Zimmer, and to introduce him to you. I'm going to